I know you've heard that saying, God is good all the time and what? God is good. I know you've heard those songs, Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever, or whatever type of version it may have been, but God is what? Good. He is indeed good. Psalms 100 says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know he or ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pastures. We are to what? Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Why? Because the Lord is good. This is a psalm that the, my mom made me and my brothers learn when we were young, growing up. We had to learn Psalms 100. And verse 5 talks about the Lord is good because the Lord is good and his mercy endures forever. And it continues on. You guys can take your time and read Psalms 100 to get the fullness of it. But it's an invitation. We have all these invitations here in the Psalms 100. Make a joyful noise. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Why? Because the Lord is good. The Lord is good. You know what that means, you guys? That God is super awesome. That he is morally right and righteous. That uh, he has benefits and there's advantages to being with him and knowing him. There, um, it is a desire to be, a, or to be approved of. All right? So, like having a good quality of life. It talks about here. I want you guys to take time and Google it uh, to be desired or approved of having the qualities required for a particular role. All right. So he's inviting to you to be in relationship with him. And there's so many benefits or advantages to being in relationship with Jesus. He is awesome. He is of high quality. He is superior. He is acceptable. He is adequate. He is magnificent, outstanding. He is wonderful. He is marvelous. He is tremendous. He is amazing. He is smashing, as they would say over in the UK. He is mouth-watering. I love this. He is tasty. He is enjoyable. He is scrummy. All right. Yummy. Even here it says he is valid. He is genuine. He is sound. He is striking. He is forceful. He is strong. He is compelling. He is influ influential and he is meaningful. And so these are just a few of what good means. Look up the definition of good. That Let that be your homework for tonight. Look up the word good and see how this is what it means when it says God is good. God is good. So I just wanted to share that with you. And for it, because we'd say this word all the time, yes, God is good and all the time, what, you know, he is good. But I don't think it really fully sinks within us how good he is. So take the time and learning God, you know, and learning about his character. One, know that he is good. And what does good mean? We've just talked about that now. Research what the word good is. And I want you also as well to take time and sing a song. I'm going to put a link down below. I think it's by Israel Houghton or anybody else about the goodness of the Lord. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me, you know, songs like that. Sing those songs. It helps you to connect with the Lord God, build relationship with him and help that, you know, that have you, you have that knowledge that God is good. He's super good, you guys. I hope this resonates with you. I'm doing a series here now on the character of God, just helping you to build and grow your relationship with him and helping you to get to know Jesus better. All right. This is a part of his character, his goodness. And it's also part of the fruits of the spirit, goodness, something that we ought to be learning from him. I hope this helps you guys. I'll see you next time. Love you guys and know that Jesus saves. Take care.